Hey, this is some guy named Chris. And today I want to show you some operations reports that we built for Power BI and ConnectWise here at Opal. Let's share my screen. And what you're seeing here uh, is WIP, work in progress. This is a report that ConnectWise has, but when ConnectWise when you invoice this data in ConnectWise, the report goes back to zero. So I was approached a couple of years ago by my boss who said, I actually export this daily. I put it into Excel. Can you make it easier? Start looking at where the data came from and it came from time. We're able to pull in all of the WIP data in totals, which is time, display it, and start analyzing. So with this type of report, I can see every the totals over every workday. And workdays are based on number of days in a month, but also uh, excluding holidays. So holidays should be set up inside of ConnectWise. And what's nice about this is we have flexibility to slice and dice and see the data that we want. So by doing this type of action, we can now see where we are. And there's other aspects of this that you're not even seeing. And this is where this WIP daily total, I look at the average number of that we 12 month average, I should say. So the current WIP average is the current month. The projection is an average of the projection based on where we are and, and what we're going to do. And then there's a 12 month average over the 12 months where we were. But with the 12-month average, I can actually project where we would be on the totals. So for instance, this is 279 because we're on the last day. But if I jump this back to the 17th, you're going to say, see here it says projection of 281. It's taking the remaining days and multiplying that by the estimate, trying to obtain where we are projected forecasting. So that type of aspect is very important. We even have some other ways in here of to get to the 2.81, we need an average of 8,200, or actually, sorry, to get to the 245, we need an average of 8,200. And this 245 is flexible here. So we have the ability to move and, and try to see where we were going, where we're going to be at the end of the month. We also have, as you can see on the left, we've got business units, members, companies, what type? Is it a limited agreement? Um, is it an unlimited agreement? Where we are, uh, no agreement. Think about no agreement. No coverage. This is just straight money in your pocket. There's no agreement on it. So you want to see where that is. We can also look and see is it an activity to see if someone put something on the activity that's billable. Uh, the flexibility is there all about pulling data from ConnectWise, putting it into a model, and getting it out. This is back to here. This is a min and max down here. So we see a lot of red in the beginning, more green. We can adjust that. Let's start seeing more green over here. There we go. Less red. We have a range so where we can quickly and easily see red and green. Have we been doing well? Have we been doing bad? Down here, we've got just daily things, but this, uh, I like to show this one 12 month daily average. What's the average number that comes in daily? You can see. Starts elevating. That's great. Comes down at the end. Really goes up over the last year. Last report here, utilization report. This is actually a utilization report that mimics uh, what's in ConnectWise. But ours, I say, goes a little bit further. With the capacity hours, it's not just stuck at 40. We have the capacity hours offsetting by the holidays. So it, if you have 4th of July that week, ours would be 32. Now, available hours 
if someone takes off another day, they're not at 32 anymore. They we offset it. So was it 24? No. I don't know. 48. I'm really bad at math apparently right now. So but we have 40 hours to so 32. 26. 24. What am I doing? Tell me on below. Tell me I'm editing. I'm so off right now. But 24 hours. So if we have a capacity of 40 hours in one week, someone takes an extra day. Someone takes a day off. They're down to 32 available. Percent billable, client utilized. Those are all based on the 32. What this allows us to do a little bit, they say a little bit better than what's in ConnectWise right now, is again, we have that flexibility. It's taking the holidays into consideration. Um, we can see it over a longer period. Now, I did believe in ConnectWise you can run the report multiple, multiple times, but if you wanted to run it daily and pull out the value, but this allows me to drill into any day at any point in the past, and I can see the exact values. Again, flexibility, ease of use, being able to slice and dice. That's the whole idea of these reports to give you a better insight. Um, this has been some guy named Chris. Let me know what you think. Is this something useful? Any additions we can add? Any subtractions? Anything? What are your thoughts? Thanks.